got a splinter in my hand and that hurt. Of course I knew it would. Ah. Hi and welcome back to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the good old boy, that's me. And we're cooking up dishes from RecipesThatCrock.com, which is my wife's cooking blog that has over 400 recipes and a horizon. And today's recipe is another soup, a great big pot of soup, and it's very, very good. Y'all like stuffed peppers? If you don't like stuffed peppers, well, let's shut this video off because this is going to deal kind of with stuffed peppers, but not have stuffed peppers. It's kind of like unstuffed peppers, but it's not. It's a stuffed pepper soup made in a crock pot. So if you don't like stuffed peppers, sorry, if you do like stuffed peppers and you like soup, well then this video is for you. Now, I gotta, I gotta say, you're not really a super fan of stuffed peppers, but you like this soup. I'm okay with stuffed peppers. I think I had them when I was a kid, and I'm a little biased because I didn't like them back then, but you've made them since then, and I've eaten them, and I've been okay with them. But in a soup, where it's all kind of... Soupy? You know, soupy, I guess. And it's like apart from itself. It's not just a, a chunk of stuff in a pepper. <laughs> I don't know why I think that's weird. I'm weird like that. I'm not a big fan of meatloaf because it's all chunked up. But if it's like in pieces, like in a soup, I like it. I can't it. believe you don't like meatloaf. You're crazy. I do like meatloaf, but I'm weird about it. Okay. If you can't tell, I'm weird about a few things. <laughs> but let's go on and talk about the soup. You need one pound of ground beef along with one cup of diced onion. So approximately one diced onion that should work. And brown it up like we've already done here in our ninja. And then you also need a 14 and a half ounce can of diced tomatoes. Uh, our, this one has roasted garlic and onion. You also need a can of tomato juice. Sauce. Tomato sauce? <laughs> it says sauce, right? You make me take off my glasses and I can't see the little the little letters. Of course, the sauce is in the big letters, tomatoes in the small letters. I guess what I need to do is pay attention. One can of tomato sauce. You also need, how much is that right there? That is two cups of peppers. Red pepper, green pepper, yellow pepper. We got some red and green going on here. Cut the, chop it up, kind of like that. Nice size pieces. Bite-sized pieces. And then you also need, and I'm reading from the directions over here because I've never made this soup before. You need uh, a half teaspoon of dried basil and a half teaspoon of dried oregano. We don't have either, so what we're going to use is what? That is an Italian herb mix, so we're just using a teaspoon. A teaspoon of an Italian herb mix that we got from Penzi's, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, we love Penzi's. And then also one cup of cooked rice now before we go on i know that i'm going to get an email you're going to get an email somebody's going to say well can you just use minute rice you could try it and let us know how it turns out if you don't have cooked rice already available try minute rice and see how it is i'd use a cup of minute rice just put it in there uncooked and it should cook up no, with it no. no i wouldn't do that why <laughs> She says, no, no. Because rice doubles. So if they're putting minute rice in... Half cup. Yeah. Half cup of minute rice. Don't use a cup. Unless you really like rice. Yeah. But this is more of a stuffed pepper recipe, not a Chinese recipe. So go with a half cup of minute rice if you're going to try it that way. And then get back to us and see how it is. We're going to use one cook. One cook. I'm the cook. <laughs> one cook. <laughs> Lord help me. One cook is going to put one cup of cooked rice in there when it comes time. And then the first thing you do, like it says, brown your beef with your onion in a skillet and drain it. Or do it right here in your Ninja. Wow. And then, after you've done all that, then go with your tomatoes. Right in the pot. And your tomato sauce. Right in the pot. And... Everything else. And your beef broth yeah, that beef you forgot to mention. Broth. I did not mention that because you got me so tied up with the rice. You were just upset that you couldn't do your squeaky, squeaky thing. Uh, yeah, because she already got it prepped for me, so I couldn't do the <laughs> at the end where I say wait for it, you know. But that's because we're not using a full thing of beef broth. We're only using three cups of beef broth right in the pot. And I knew if I had... Wait, wait, wait for it. <laughs> 
There we go. Okay. I knew if I'd put a whole cart in there, he would have totally put <laughs> all four cups in. Your peppers. Your rice. It's kind of clumped in there, but we'll mix it up here in a second. And your teaspoon of whatever spice is using, either basil, oregano, or if you got pensies, well, well, you're Italian a blessed soul. Or, Italian herb mix. And Italian, any Italian herb mix should do for this. And then, well, there you go. That's your ingredients. Now. What did you do? The pot was hot. And I touched it again. I've had a very long day. It's been my weekend. And over the past two days, Miss Ad and I. With a little help from mommy. <laughs> we have built a giant retaining wall beside our house because we're getting ready to put a pool up and it needed to be leveled out. So, um, well, I've been in the sun for the past two days. And yesterday, while I was out there in the sun for about nine hours straight, I wore a headband, one of my wife's jogging headbands. <laughs> now, I don't jog, but I'll use the headband because it does great to collect the sweat so it doesn't get in your eyes. But I kind of forgot that I had it on and never took it off all day. And it was crooked. And I don't know if y'all are going to be able to see this with the lights or not, but if you can, I'm sorry. But I have... Forward. I have a diagonal <laughs> tan line going across my forehead. Oh, it's the other way? That way? <laughs> I don't know. All I know is it hurts. and I put my hat on just so you don't have to laugh at me. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> I got a little burnt, so... But uh, this is a, that's why I like that this is just a throw it in the pot kind of recipe. Not a lot of prep to it. Cut up your veggies, brown your meat, put it in a pot. And you want to cook it on low for six to eight hours. And when it gets done, let me move this out of the way. <coughs> it's going to look like this. Let me get this. This is plugged in. Let me unplug real quick because I jiggle my camera. Make noises and don't touch the hot pot. Don't touch the hot pot. I tell you that every time, and I still do it. When you get done, cute little pot. One of our brand new crock pots we just got. A little Cuisinart. When it gets done, it's going to look like that. And I'll get myself a little bowl here. Everything's all mixed together, melded together well. This has been cooking for, well, all day. About eight hours on low. About eight hours on low. So, you know, all the peppers and the onions are going to be softened up. And put that in there. Get a little bit of broth to go on top of it. So, since it's been cooking eight hours, dear, do you think it might be hot? I think it's going to be hot. So you no, might, I know it's going to be hot. You might want to be careful. You know, you didn't put me a spoon out, and the first thing I thought is, I'm going to reach in there and grab a spider, and it was not going to be cool. Thank you for not putting a spider in my drawer. Or in my drawers. <laughs> Let's try out this stuffed pepper soup. good that's very good the peppers like I said after sitting in there for eight hours and cooking up they're very very soft and along with the onion the rice gives it a little bit more gives your mouth something else to chew on other than the beef and it's very hearty I guess you'd say a very hearty meal very tomatoey so if you like tomatoes I mean just if you like stuffed peppers if you like stuff like that this is perfect for you the cool thing about it and let's say you don't eat it all. I know I showed in a previous video. This is perfect to put in those little bitty containers. Fill them about halfway full, three quarters way full. Freeze them up, and you can have them in your lunch whenever you want to. And they'll they'll be good for like up to a month in your freezer. But again, that is a very very good, very quick to make, slow to cook, which is which is okay because when you get back home, it's an all day recipe. So you put it together in the morning. You come home. 
you got dinner for everybody. I don't know how many servings that is, but that's a lot. This probably says on the site. It does. It, it says it on the site. You should go to the site. It's recipesthatcrock.com if you've never heard of it. Well, link to how it did you get here? <laughs> we'll link to it down below. But again, we want to thank you guys for watching us here at Cooking Chris's Dishes here at youtube.com slash MikeyGood. If you like what you see and you're not already a subscriber, hit that little button to the side there that says subscribe and become a subscriber. You get emails to all the different recipes that we put on here as well as the other things that are put on this channel. Don't worry. It's family friendly. And uh, Miss Ad, our little nine-year-old, she's the editor, so we've got to keep it kid-friendly around here. Um, another good uh, thing about being a subscriber is one of our other subscribers that joined the family got a free cookbook. Uh, Dennis, your cookbook is on the way. We want to thank you uh, for subscribing. And again, for the rest of y'all that are subscribing, don't lose hope. We'll have more giveaways in the future. I wish I could give every one of you a cookbook, but, well, that's expensive. And I don't think I can afford that because here's the thing. We're getting a lot of subscribers, and we are very, very, very appreciative of it, and we thank you guys for it. Um, you can also check us out at Facebook, at Recipes That Croc, and also at Good Old Tunes with Good Old Boy, and that's where we'll also show these recipes along with uh, some of the family stuff that we do, and a lot of music. Uh, I, I do like to do a lot of music, so you'll be hearing some on the site here. And again, we want to thank you guys for watching. You keep watching, and we'll keep cooking, and all will be well. Bye.